What up, Dad Nerds? So you recently got the new M1 MacBook or thinking about getting it and you have concerns and not sure how you're gonna install Windows applications on this machine. I'm Luke, a data analyst, and my channel is all about tech and skills for data science. And the solution we're going over today is the one that I use on a daily basis to access my favorite Windows application, which is Power BI. Power BI is a data visualization software that uses a lot of resources of the computer, similar to like a high-end gaming application. And since I've been using it over the past week, I haven't noticed any real issues with it, and it's worked very seamlessly on my M1 Mac. I've even noticed that it's more responsive than my Dell, which has a similar memory capacity as my M1. For this solution today, we're gonna to be using Parallels, which is a visualization software, and it's gonna be installing the operating system of Windows, and specifically it's gonna be Windows for ARM because the M1 chip is built on the ARM architecture. Both Parallels and Windows are still under development for this new ARM architecture. So there are a few bugs that I'll call out along the way of this install process that I've noticed. Also, both of these solutions are free right now as of February 2020. But since they are in that preview version, I do expect them to get into a licensed version that you're gonna to have to buy in the future. And typically you'll definitely have to buy Parallels and that typically runs around $80 for a license. So with that, let's get started. And I wanna give a shout out to 9to5Mac, which I have a link below on written out detailed instructions for how to do this install process as well. So let's get started. For the first step, we need to get Windows downloaded for the ARM architecture. To do this, you sign up for the Windows Insider program and you need to create a login for this and you need to save this for later. From there, you download the Windows 10 client ARM Insider preview. And then I like to put this file somewhere that I can easily access it because we're gonna need to install this in the virtual machine. The second step is to download Parallels Desktop for the M1 Mac. For this, you sign into Parallels. You can use a Google or Apple login for this. And then from there, you can download the Parallels technical preview. Make sure to just keep this browser open because you're gonna need the key that's featured uh, in this web page. For step three, we're going to install Parallels onto the Mac and create this Windows virtual machine. So with the Parallels file that you downloaded, Click on it to start the installer. When you're prompted, you need to drag in that Windows 10 file that you had previously downloaded from the Windows website. From here, Parallels will set up your Windows instance and you'll need to enter your login information for Parallels using your Google or Apple ID like you did previously. From there, you need to put in that activation key from the web browser uh, where you downloaded Parallels from and Parallels will continue the setup configuration for your virtual machine. Step four, we need to install the updates for Windows and also enable that X64 emulation so that way we can run those 64-bit Windows applications. So for this, go to the search bar at the bottom and type in Insider. Go to Diagnostics and Feedback to turn on the optional diagnostics data. Click Link Windows Insider Account and log into your Windows Insider Program account again. Once you're logged in, you can then click Beta Channel, Recommended, and select Dev Channel. Next, click that Home button and click Update and Security. Click Check for Updates, and from there, you'll need to download and install updates. This took me about 15 minutes to install these updates into my machine. Once complete, the machine will reboot, and you may need to reboot Parallels one more time to get it to work properly. So moving on to the final step, number five. We need to install the Windows app that we want. Since Microsoft Store is a 32-bit application, it doesn't currently work on this Windows ARM 64 version, so you can't get applications via that method. I've tried to go through the browser within Windows to download applications, but I've encompassed a white screen and I haven't been able to download apps. So thanks to one of my subscribers for suggesting this. I would suggest at this point, go to your browser within Mac OS and you can download, you can search for to download your application, the 64-bit version. 
onto your Mac itself. And then from there, go back to Parallels and you can still access your file system on your Mac and go through the installation process within this virtual machine to install that application on the virtual machine. So bam, there you have it. Now you have your favorite Windows-based application installed on your M1 MacBook. To access it, it's really easy. All you have to do is load up Parallels and launch your virtual machine instance. Uh, from there, once it's open and you have Windows, you can launch your application as normal through Windows. So as always, if you got value out of this video, smash that like button. And if you're interested in learning about other options for getting Windows on your M1 MacBook, check out this video. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.